What's up, y'all? The Slab Out Jeans TV. Hey, y'all see what it is right here? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? We build cutlass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just finished spraying, I think, one layer of the candy. Got candy root beer on here. Hey, man, it was a long time coming to see if I get y'all a good look at the paint. It's so dark. It's raining outside, but y'all see it, man. On the way, I got one more shop after this, interior shop. I'm going to let uh, CAC do the interior and the uh, music on it. But y'all see it, though. It's finally out. Little WB outside, man. I ain't want to go red, blue, or, you know what I'm saying, green. Because I feel like this channel, you know, it's supposed to represent something that, you know... I can't really just be biased on a car if I put it together. I can't go red, I can't go blue, I can't go green. Cause then people gonna be like, well damn bro, why you why you let why you do this? Why you do that, bro? You supposed to go this color, you supposed to I ain't shit. It's just an original, you know, old school gangster color. Damn, I wish it wasn't raining outside. Guess he pulled it over here from the paint uh booth. Y'all see it. It damn near look wine almost. In that, you know, in a darker light. But under that gas station light, it's gonna be straight root bill. But y'all see it. Coming to a boulevard near you. Y'all, if y'all see this car out there on the boulevard, hey man, just salute a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just give a nigga a dab, salute a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Throw the deuce up. That's it. It's a whole bunch of extra shit I had in the trunk. But shit, I'm loving the paint, bro. Loving it. Almost like mud. I love it though. Put that gold, that that mayonnaise and mustard on the tires. You know what I'm saying? Got a little pinstripe that I'm gonna do on there. Uh, top gonna go on there. I'm still debating on the color of the interior, but I think I got something in mind I'm gonna do with it. But it's gonna be right back to back. It ain't. I ain't gonna have this car. Sitting in the garage for a minute. This is going to do a little bit more mechanic work on it. And I'm going to, uh, you know, put it in the interior shop. Y'all already know. Derek and them, they going to get my, uh, they going to get my music right. But y'all boys see it, man. Y'all see it. I can't. I can't even think of too many root bill cars out right now. I think it's two. It's a dude that had a lack. He had two lacks, I think. Him and his homeboy had a lack, I think. I can't think of their names. But I think they was root bill too. Uh, damn, this car was almost echo branded, but you get close. Don't mind the rain, though. Their roof coming soon. Don't even get on me about it. I didn't want to put Hollywood and uh, T tops and nothing. I don't, I don't really care for it too much. Shit, I just want to ride damn near. But now y'all see it? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good angle right there. Y'all see it? Wish it wasn't raining, but y'all get the point. I'm go check on that front clip. I don't know where the front clip at. Let's see what he put. Shit, I mean, I ain't see my front clip in the uh, paint booth. I don't know where my paint man at, but still got my bump kit over there. Still got to paint that. But I just want y'all to show y'all the process, you know, everything coming along. I know a lot of people don't be from Houston, don't be from Texas, and they be curious on 
how we put our cars together. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they don't like to show the process of their car. They like to just show, you know, when it's finished or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the process. He's still, you know what I'm saying? So, I got my goddamn paint man right there. I'm finna get on his ass. But yeah, it better look good, boy. I like it, I love it. I'm ready to put that pinstripe on there, see how it look. Put the crown piece at the bottom too. I'm gonna do that too. Don't look at it and think, oh damn, he got he ain't missing this, he missing that, man. Just just wait, man. It's coming. Everything coming. Slab OG's TV, little WB finna be out on the boulevard. I'm lying. I'm lying. The first marble car I seen is extra. The first marble car I seen was my partner Keith O'Neill out of Fontaine, Bucknell Street, RRP dog. Love you. Had a drop dog, marble. I heard about it. It was root. It was. Tangerine. tangerine. It like a tiger. Yeah. That was the first marble car I seen. He first. Yeah. Because he was a trendsetter. That was my partner. That was, we every day. The second car I seen, marble. On the north. I'm talking about me. Yeah. I don't know about nobody else. Yeah. Was my partner, Lil' Ron, off Langley. Had a marble, burgundy, Fleetwood. So you had Sedan DeVille and you had Fleetwood. Now the Sedan DeVille was a short Cadillac, but it still was a photo. But the Fleetwood was the same car, but a little bit longer. Yeah. One of them on fire popped up. Marble. See, one of the cleanest ones I done heard of was. Let me finish the story. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Marble. Now, I ain't gonna go all into it. I'm just gonna pick it, pick it a little bit. It was some cats from Rosewood wanted this car that my partner had. And at this time, when Blades was at, and they cost it 10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, follow me. Gonna get real slick in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted this car real bad, right? But they ain't had the money. Okay, yeah. so once my partner with the car, he say, give me him another deck of wheels and 1500. You can have it. Right? Yeah. So these other people come up with that and get the car. Uh. They gave him some ten thousand dollar button blades, another set of glass, and fifteen hundred bucks for this car. Marvel popped up, mint motherfucker. They do the deal. They come down Langley, crump, then a motherfucker, trying to make it back the other way. Crash this motherfucker the first day they got it on Langley in Homestead. I think I heard this story. Uh, yeah, I think I heard this story. Hey, man. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Ten minutes in that motherfucker. Yeah, I think I know you're talking about it too. Let's <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah. He was on Bucknell and Langley, Homestead and Langley, two, three streets over. Because he was flying down the street, huh? Yeah. Crunk. Yeah, I heard that story before. Crunk. Yeah. <laughs> Folded that hoe. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first two calls I seen Marble. What about B Mac uh Boss Hog? I heard that one was clean too, Marble. Burgundy. Yeah. Not wine. Burgundy. Yeah. Is the first candy color before red came burgundy burgundy not apple not all the other colors back then if you wasn't purple not 
voodoo, drink, no. Purple, yeah. which is great. Couldn't call it jelly. Yeah. Purple and burgundy. Them was the color, roaming the streets back then. Mm. And then he put it on a green cotton cord. Holding. Yeah. And that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, we can sit out here for three, four hours. Yeah, because you know I saying? know. I know. I got to talking cold, though. Mm-hmm. Talking about blunt. I ain't taking nothing away from blunt, but that's our core blunt. I, 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 I used to hear his name all the time. I never met him, but respect to him because his name rang. Shit, I heard and he on the north respect. side, people ain't really just hear his name like that screw back then. Blunt, riding on my fold, yeah. screw, put him in the you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. And, that's, and then you start seeing that, like, oh, he tough. Was y'all going to the south side during this time? I would. Yeah. Like, did they point out and say, oh, that's niggas from the top house? Top dog. My partner. The, top the dog. Stretch. I sold him a set of glass on this 85 Monte Carlo. Greg Renfrey, all them boys right there. I met them through top. Them, them, them my people. Them, I fuck with them. You talking about top dog from Belmont? Yeah, with the, he had, now that was the first. Stretch. Me. I seen me. Mint green stretch with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight foes on this motherfucker back then. They was 10,000. What was people saying when they saw that? That car? Yeah. That and Mexican Joe. They some bad motherfuckers, man. Yeah. I seen Mexican Joe with the orange one after I seen Top. I used to go to his house under the carport and just look at it. But I heard Mexican Joe beat Top out the shop, though. I don't know that story. Yeah. I just know I seen Top under the garage, in, under the shed, way right there. Yeah. And I'm pulling up, hey, you want them? Yeah, roll them in. <laughs> right there. Yeah. And I'm looking at this motherfucker like, what is that? Yeah. Cause the only one I seen like that was Ray Barnett, and he was one like that. Ray Barnett had the one look like a bunch of fiberglass running bull type shit. He the one that used to own the clubs, right? If you swing tonight, you go ride. We talking about Gucci's. Yeah. <laughs> he was the owner. Yeah. Yes, sir. He was the owner. Man, speak on Gucci's, cause I always hear stories about that. What you, what you want to know? That, that was that, what, what the, that was like the North Side playground, like the North Side. Like that like was, they that, say that was like. A that treacherous was, time. That was Gucci's, man. You go in through the wash interior, you come up through the back, walk the DNA on the ones and twos, Ray in there on the mic. If you swing, your ass going downtown. Yeah. And you come outside, shit, you on your own. Damn. <laughs> you on your own, you come outside. Yeah. Fifth Ward in there, Fifth Ward, Fifth Ward in there, Homestead in there. They said it was damn near the whole city in there. Everybody in there ripping. Got they little section. Ain't no section. We just get here early. We go hold this section down by the stage and we go rip. This <laughs> us. That's y'all. And everybody in there. You got on the floor and walked up top. But this like the 80s, huh? Like the 80s, yeah, 90s. Yeah, it was going down then and you come outside. It was like a, a baby chocolate town. That's what it was like. Yeah. Chocolate town came after Gucci's. And that bitch used to be wide the fuck up from Parker to 45. Yeah. Well, Gucci's right here. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wide the fuck up on Sundays. Yeah. What about uh two pesos? Tim Will and 45. Yeah. That's where we going. Yeah. When we leave Gucci's. <laughs> we going there, we gonna go to this spot right across the street called well it used to be called Ain't Bees. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the breakfast spot. The breakfast spot. Yeah. Prejudice. They ain't like blacks, but we in there. Fuck them. And we eating in there. I forgot all about that. Yeah. This you need to go, get, did yeah. you burn down or something? Huh? Yeah, they, they changed it to another name, another store or something. Yeah. Yeah, ask me some more questions. I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. I just want people to know that don't know what it was before it is now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you really from Homestead, you know, like with Chimmy Chan and on Breshaw and yeah. Homestead. Yeah. They used to be, uh, I forgot what it was, uh, uh, 
GW Juniors or something like that, a restaurant. Long, long time ago, then it was a church of chicken right there. Wasn't it somebody, my daddy was telling about this, uh, Mr. Styles or something like that. Who was that? He was on homestead and he used to put like bumper kits on the cars and all that. I don't know him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. It was just something I just, yeah, I, I remember him, him. Talk, talking about it one time. I don't yeah. know him. So during this time, y'all was most so hitting clubs. Y'all wasn't doing no block parties or nothing like nah. that. Nah. Man, we got to go to Gucci's. Yeah. So what's the definition of parking lot pimping? To me? Yeah. The club that I had too, right? Yeah. So you want to wash your car all day. See, back then, we used to watch the motherfucking leave the wax on the car to Sunday. <laughs> wash it, then leave the wax wash on Wash the, the car and wax it and leave it on the car to Sunday. Okay. And take the wax out. Yeah. yeah. I know them big, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's that arrow. Yeah. Niggas riding around with wax on that shit. Like, hold up. I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you take the wax out. But parking lot like pimping is you at home. It's about 145, depending on where you stay, because you're trying to get to that parking lot and catch them when they coming out the club. See, everything in got to come out. And everything out ain't going in. So the ones who ain't going in, we catching parking lot people. We in the parking lot. I'm already there jamming, knocking. Then you pull up, jamming, knocking. And before you know it, it's 10 of us. We in the parking lot. And then, you know, the booty shorts walking in. Hey, hey, you know. Then they choosing. You know, because you done went to the barber shop that day, Mr. Berry. Yeah. Or wherever you go get chopped up and you got your eyes all on. <laughs> with, your, with your jaw to ass. <laughs> or, your, or, your, or, your, or your power for sales. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. You just chilling. You clean. And you just out there shooting your shot. That's parking lot pimping. I always hear kind of like the girls back then knew what you was on. like. Well, if they was a street girl. And you had a little, your name rang a little bit. They kind of like, I'm gonna be riding with him next week. <laughs> Was boys pulling up to uh the high school, picking up the girls and they slap? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> Taking them lunch. <laughs> See, if you got something like Mike back then, they weren't gonna be that long. But just say he had a regal, right? And he was, and he get out half a day. We call that co-op. The niggas go to school half a day, got a yeah. job. But they seniors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He get out half a day. But guess what? His girlfriend is the major red captain. She like one of the baddest motherfuckers at the school, right? Yeah. So he coming back at lunch, bringing up Jack in the box, you know what I'm saying? picking her up from school, and she got her other friends, and they all in the car with him. So it's him, his gal, and the rest of the children, and they ride. Yeah. Yeah, we picking them up. What about the Forrest Book and Smiley game? The nigga ball. Yeah. <laughs> the nigga ball. People been telling about the Forrest Book and Smiley games. Well, that's the nigga ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 okay, this, okay. They go to, the, they go to Smiley, and we stay on the same street. <laughs> I go to Brook, and we all stay on the same street. They in the band. I'm in the band. They play football. They play football. So we already on the street. Now y'all got y'all ass kicked last week by Wild Trip. Yeah, we and we smashed Jones or we smashed whoever, right? Yeah. But that game right there gonna be the best game of the season. Yeah. It's a point to prove who the best on the north. Yeah. It was number two high school. Brooke. And Smiley in North Forest. But you had Cashmere, Wheeler, and all them, that's H I S D. Yeah. But over here where we at, Smiley in the brook. That's it. And it go it go down at that game, man. At that nigga ball. Was people pulling out slabs at, yes. up there? Yes. Uh. Yes. Yes. Did you have a lot of people back then like going to Forest Brook and you know what I'm saying, middle school pulling up in slabs? Cause I always hear certain names that yes. they was riding slab in middle school. I don't know about middle school. Yeah. But when I was at Forest Brook, Binky was riding elbows. My partner Chris Jefferson was riding elbows. 
No, nah, I'm lying. These niggas was in foreign in high school. Yeah. They had a a jag, a, 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 a twerk cards candy motherfucking 190 eat beans. Yeah. Uh, 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 then they had a Monte Carlo. I think now you a Chad. One of them had a a, 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 a Monte Carlo with 86s on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at, at the Brook on full slab shit, them cats right there was in the parking lot, man. You speak on forums. I might go a little deep. I'll edit it out or whatever. Who is Titan? Titan. Out of from, Houston Gardens. He from Houston Gardens. Was he pulling out cars too? Yeah, he had a Tai Tung had a a candy red beans with this motherfucking kit on the side. This motherfucker man. They say he was riding Porsches back then and I all kinds of stuff. He had a band up some red, and it had a a body kit on this motherfucker. Wide body kit on this motherfucker. I ain't never seen in my life back then. Yeah. What about that car you took? You chopped the top off. You took a brand new car, chopped the top off of it. <laughs> huh? What car? The car they say you cut the top off of it. Brand new car that uh, you ain't got. Yo, oh, I was car. experimenting with that. What I car? I was trying to find me. What car? So, my mama had bought me a Sundance. Damn it. Sundance. I don't even know what that is. It's like a shadow. But my mama bought me a a Plymouth Sundance. It was like a photo. It was like a photo. Oh, man, appreciate it. It was like a photo of, yeah, just, damn, put it right there right now. Thank you. It was like a photo. It was like a, uh, a photo shadow. I mean, it was a shadow, but it was a photo. Yeah. So it was a Sundance, right? So I was fucking with body shop man that smiled his name, Strat, Mr. Strat. Mm -hmm. So I was fucking with him and I, I just, I just, I Ooh, said, man, I said, man, I want to put some tea chops in this motherfucker, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something that ain't never been done. Man. <laughs> I must, that's the worst ass woman I ever got in my life, man. <laughs> I came home. My mom seen that motherfucker missing. <laughs> she like, why want you to do to that car? I'm still paying notes on it. <laughs> she told my ass up. I love a R.P. mama. And that's when I started finding myself. I cut that motherfucker up, Slab TV. Yeah. I tried to put some t tops in that motherfucker, man. And I couldn't do it. So I just, I cut the whole top off that song. Because back then, y'all was most so doing it in your front yard. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. yeah this shit is school. But I was at school. <laughs> <laughs> I was at school, man. I was at school. I cut the whole top off that motherfucker, man. Yeah. Trying, trying to put some T-tops in that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what about the, uh, the 75? The freeze? I ain't fucked that up. Julio got over that. Julio got over that and did that. I 90'd it up, though. Yeah. That was the first one 90'd up. Yeah. I ain't got no picture, but it ended up over there off of, uh, Hirsch and Weaver. Over that bird shop, yeah. a long, long time ago. Okay. That's where it ended up, and I ain't see it. I ain't, I ain't see it no more. Yeah. yeah man. You got any more stories you want to tell on here? Hey, shit. You know, whatever you feel like you want to ask. <laughs> shit, I didn't ran out of them. Shit. <laughs> That's it, y'all. Yeah, I didn't ran out of them. That's it. Man, y'all already know what time it is, man. Y'all already know I don't really get these too much. You know what I'm saying? But when I do, they be a limited edition. You know what I'm saying? I don't really set them like that. Man, if you building these cars, bro, it's what you need right here. It's what you need. Over 400, 500 pictures of the straight OGs. You know what I'm saying? So if you putting these cars together, there's something that you need, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of get the, you know, just what everybody, what we all be talking about in these interviews and stuff, just got some of the majority of the people in the, uh, in the magazine. You know what I'm saying? All uh, early 2000, like not even early 2000, really 80s and 90s. There's a couple of pictures in here that's early 2000s, but the rest of them just straight up OGs, you know what I'm saying? They rolled before everybody, you know what I'm saying? When it really wasn't a, you know, like a a fad or well, 
you see it on social media, it was like when these niggas was rolling, they was really rolling, man. So, uh, they thirty dollars, man. I know y'all might be like, damn, that's a lot, yeah. but man, it's it's straight up history right here. If you building these cars, if you into this lifestyle, hey man, these one of the magazines that you need. You know, I don't see why you wouldn't get one of these. Uh, I'm gonna leave my number in the description box below, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Got some of them. Or you can hit me up on Instagram, you know, uh, at WB Auto Sales, or you can just type up Slab OG's TV on Instagram and DM me. Uh, if you're in Houston, I can come to you, you know what I'm saying? We can sit there and chop it up. You know, I talk about the slab all day. So, yeah. And uh, let me find that one. That one picture. A lot of y'all already know. Uh, about a year ago, Swiss Beats came out here and did a Hulu show, Hulu episodes, based on Houston car culture and kind of got me and my daddy's story, you know what I'm saying, him building the cars back in the day and blah, 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 how I'm carrying it on and everything. So this is a little article that I just did talking about the culture and what, you know, what it mean to me, how I, you know, fell in love with it. If y'all watch it, it come out on November 16th. If y'all watch it, man, don't, don't get on me because I... I was nervous when they was interviewing me. But November 16th, y'all can check that out. You know what I'm saying? Got all the OGs up in here. So if you want one, man, get at me. For sure, for sure. I can pull up and get you one.